Australia could unearth two debutantes in its tour of the West Indies starting next week, with all-rounders Aaron Burns and Heather Graham given their first international call-ups. Obviously brought in a few new faces uh, with a view to that T20 World Cup, so uh, there's plenty to play for. Yeah, we've got some good memories from there, especially um, Sevier Richards Stadium, so we've got a couple of games there, uh, which is nice. A celebration of Australia's Women's Ashes triumph took place at the Governor-General's Admiralty House. Thank you very much. Thank you. But three members of the squad that easily accounted for England won't be making the trip to the Caribbean. Sophie Molyneux will stay at home to resume recovery on her right shoulder that was operated on earlier in the year, while specialist bat Elise Villani has been squeezed out. I think the first round of WNCL is a great opportunity for her to go back and sort of reinvent herself at the top of the order and, and push her case there. Opener Nicole Bolton, meanwhile, has made herself unavailable to focus on her mental health ahead of the home summer. The selection of Graham comes as reward for the 23-year-old winning the domestic player of the season. While Burns has broken through at 31, having played a crucial part in one of the greatest WBBL moments to date. Brilliant stuff, Aaron Burns. People will never forget that fielding effort in the semi-final there last year. It was, uh, you know, it was worth the admission price alone. So those are the sort of things that we want to get in our squad and um, yeah, it'll be great to welcome her in. Australia will face the West Indies in three one-day internationals in Antigua starting September 5, followed by three T20s in Barbados from September 14.